You know, we sent down this reminder and we have taken it upon ourselves to guard it, to protect it. If that verse alone doesn't convince somebody of the proof of Islam, nothing will because it is so clearly providential, the protection that the Quran has been given. No other religion has the protection of their sacred book that we have. The Jews debate upon the different versions of the Torah. The Christians debate upon the different versions of the Gospels. They have different endings to their Gospels in the different uh, religious sects. The, every single, the Buddhists have untold number of scripture. Um, the, the, uh, the Hindus also, all of these groups uh, ha do not have unified uh, scriptural in uh, integrity. The Muslims alone, Shia, Sunni, Ibadi, uh, Sufi, Salafi, it doesn't matter what group you're from, everybody reads the same Quran with the same tashkil, the same harakat. There's almost no debate about makharij al huruf how the actual, which is the, the protection of the phonetics of the Quran is another miracle of the Quran. Nobody, I studied that New Testament Greek and one of the things the teacher told us was that we don't know how the, the Greek sounded at that time because it just wasn't per, uh, per, preserved. So even the reading, the recitation of the New Testament in classical, in Koine Greek, it's not real classical Greek, uh, the, the Attic Greek, which is the Greek of Homer, Homeric Greek is is a higher Greek and then the Platonic Greek. But the Koine Greek, which is the Greek of the New Testament, um, w they don't even know how that was pronounced, some of the words and things. So the Quran is amazing. Phonetics, you don't get phonetics until the 18th century in, in Europe, where they start studying makharij al huruf you know, all these different... Uh, All these different makharij uh, al uh, huruf came in the 19th, 18th, 19th century when the Europeans really discovered that. So even the Qaida, which is the book that most Ajam learn how to read the Quran from, the um, the the Qaida was developed by Muslims over a thousand years ago. And now, if you look in the 19th century, that's how they taught phonetic English, is the basic same thing. And you, you have to wonder where they got that, because they didn't have it 100 years ago, 200, 300 years ago. So the, the preservation of the Quran is just amazing. The seven variants are amazing, that the, the each variant has been preserved uh, with the accuracy that has been preserved. And the hafil, if he's a real hafil or she is a real hafil, the, the preservation that they can hear immediately when something is not right and corrected is stunning testimony to the preservation of the book. So I, it's a nice thing to be able to see that, to see how they've done that and, and, the, and why the Quran is printed flawlessly edition after edition without mistakes in it is just something really stunning uh, about the religion. So alhamdulillah.